Hi guys, Dr. Arcadia with Rebalance. In a previous video, we discussed the theory behind the pelvic floor exercise. In intent, exactly what you're supposed to feel when you're performing the exercise and what is the final goal. In this video, we're gonna go through routine of this exercise. Just to remind you, an intent of this exercise, when you think of the internal feeling throughout the whole progression, we're gonna be trying to do two simple tasks. When we contract, we're gonna try to retract the testicle into the pelvic cavity. Pull it in, hold it in for five seconds, and then release it rapidly, just dropping. Well, let's move on with progression. First exercise, we're just gonna lay on the back. First position, you're gonna create a brace. And like I said, brace is very simple. You're gonna imagine all these muscles will brace somebody from pushing you from side to side. So put your fingers around the waist, right below the ribs, and feel all these muscles engaged. And if you try to push yourself, you really can because these muscles are in complete brace around your, your waist. Now, the lower back is flat on the floor. And imagine that feeling when you're going to pull the testicles, the, the whole testicular sac, into your pelvic floor, into here. So first we brace, we take a deep breath in, and as we breathe in, we pull. And hold. Down to five, four, three, two, and drop. If you notice that I just, I just really let it go. Then I'm gonna reposition my pelvis again, put it flat on the floor. See how my pelvis is kind of facing the ribcage, facing the diaphragm. These muscles have to work against each other. So again, created this right position, braced. And as I inhale, keep on bracing. As I inhale, I'm gonna suck the testicular sac into the pelvic cavity. And hold, four, three, two, one, drop. And you completely let go. So little by little, you start feeling all the muscles of the perineum, all the muscles around the testicles, muscles around the anus, as well as the muscles, internal muscles of the pelvis, working as you try to pull the testicular sac inside. Okay, and again, bracing at the same time. And you're gonna do this exercise about 20 times. Now, it's normal to be a little sore the same the first day because you're using the muscles you generally do not use. So, first few days, just practice this. When you progress, the next step is doing the same thing, but with your legs down. Now, you will notice that it's a little more difficult because now you really have to bring the pelvis slightly up to keep the pelvic floor facing the rib cage. You have to bring the ribs slightly down. So really locking this whole area, significantly more engagement of your abdominal muscles for the control. And again, the same feeling, you're gonna be pulling this testicular sac inside, in here. So again, as you breathe in, you pull, you pull, you pull, and what you also will notice that even glutes have to contract in order for you to drag the, the, the sack inside. So you pull, 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 count to five, and completely relax your drop. And again, about 20 times. The next progression is sitting. So typically, some people will find it a little more difficult. Actually, some people find it a little easier to do it. So you should try to sit not at the very edge of the chair, but you know, almost at the edge. It's better if you feel the testicles almost at the edge of the chair. Okay, have your feet planted on the floor. And first, again, you're gonna brace. If somebody's gonna try to push me now, they will have a challenge because all these muscles are braced and they're holding my spine together. And as I breathe in, I'm gonna again, use this internal engagement of the muscles by pulling the testicular sac into the pelvic cavity. 
as I brace and as I breathe in and hold my breath for five seconds as I keep on pulling in. And then I drop. And again, sit up nice and tall, brace, hold, four, three, two, one, and let go. You will feel a lot of tension between the testicular sac and the anus. This whole perineal muscles are, will be very sensitive because that's, that's the deepest muscles that you're gonna engage from the outside. And then of course you will feel also somewhere around the inguinal area here. So again, about 20 times and don't push it. If you feel a little sore, if you feel, make it 15, make it 10, make it comfortable. You shouldn't be in pain. Now, there are a few different types of progressions after that. Now, ideally, I would like you to be able to do this exercise as you drive in your car, as you're sitting in the office, you just remember it, you haven't done those exercises today. And even as you work, you can easily do it as you sit. The progression from this is standing. And again, the idea is to incorporate this exercise in your daily routine. So as you stand, the same idea, you're gonna brace, nice and tall. Brace as much as you can. As you deep, take a deep breath in, you will pull the testicular sac into the pelvic cavity. And at this position, you will feel much more lower abdominal muscles engagement. Yes, you still feel gluteal muscles because you're kind of helping with them to pull the testicular sac inside. You will feel the, the perineal muscles but you're also gonna start feeling a lot of lower abdominal muscles. Same idea, take a deep breath in, squeeze, pull, pull, squeeze, count to five and drop, okay? And the progression from this is walking. Now, walking, it's tricky because as you walk, theoretically muscles should be relaxed but it's a good way to train the pelvic floor muscles to be engaged in walking because guess what? That's when you really want that spinal support. And as we said, that's a very important muscle. So as you walk, same idea, you're gonna pull and as you're holding that, you know, the, the engagement of the deeper muscles and you're pulling them in, you continue walking count to five and then just relax and drop. This exercise is also very good to combine with your core workout routine. So for example, you do bridging, you know, very common exercise for your glutes. I love this exercise because it really stimulates the ability of your muscles to brace and engage the gluteus together with the bracing. So you brace, the way I train the, the bridge exercise is not by bringing your pelvis up, but by pushing your heels into the ground because you're gonna feel significantly more work in your glutes. But before you do that, you're gonna pull your testicles in, you're gonna hold them, and at that point, you're gonna push through the heels. And you're really gonna feel like it, it's a significantly deeper drive. And then you're gonna slowly bring it back and drop. And again, brace, pull in, push through the heels, go up, and then slowly bring it back down as I hold, and then drop. Of course, you can do the whole bridging progression. You can do a two leg bridging, one leg bridging, same idea. Just keep on engaging the perineal muscles, keep on pulling the testicular sac in, you will see how in a few weeks you will not recognize how much more muscle development you're gonna gain, how much more control you're gonna gain, and how much easier it is for you to, to bring the, the blood circulation to the pelvis and control your pelvic activity and of course the erection as well.